Gentlemen, welcome to this matchup in the Axis Football League. Along with our Axis Sports Network crew, I'm Dave Stevens, here with analyst Mike Steele. Dave, we talked about this one on the flight over. Heck, I feel like it's a safe bet calling it a tie. We really could see halftime adjustments making the difference today. Yes, sir. This isn't the first time we've seen this rodeo, Mike. Let's see how things develop today. Tackled after a return of 31. He lets one fly deep down the center of the field. And he scores. That was a great call by the coach and great execution by the players. Number 98 kicks it up. It's good. The home team strikes first today, 7 nothing. The home team feels pretty good here to get that first touchdown. Now they need to come out on defense and hold on to that lead. Number 12 catches the kickoff, makes the return up to the 17. It's a one-score game, Dave. You have to feel good about your chances here if you're the offense. Let's see how they execute. Second down. He hands it to the runner. That brings up a crucial third down. Number 10, looking to pass. And he goes down. That'll be a loss of 10. Fourth down. The defense executed perfectly on that play. Cover the top to take away the first down pass and force the short throw. Now they're in a fourth down situation. Makes the return up to the 48-yard line. The offense has the chance to make this a two-score game with this possession. Number 11 makes the handoff. He sheds off the defender. That'll give them a fresh set of downs. If they keep doing this, the kicker's going to have a much easier job today. Extra points only, perhaps. Bush makes a nice catch. That brings up second down. I think that's a clear case of blown coverage. He was wide open. Bush makes the completion. Third down. He drops back. He throws one over to the left side. That'll bring up a fresh set of downs. There was a very small window that the quarterback was working with there, and he slung it in there. And they can't connect. Incomplete. Breaking away from the defense. Number 35 takes the carry. That brings up third down. Brought down in the backfield for a sack by number three. Fourth down. That signals the end of the first quarter. The home team out in front for now. Seven, nothing. Number 98 on the kick. And he split the uprights for three points. That's good from 34 yards out. The home team widens the gap a bit with that score. 10 nothing. The away team would do well to really focus here. They need to execute a quick drive and score to get back into this game. The away team has a great opportunity here to build some momentum and eat away at that lead they're facing. And it's picked off by number 52. We heard it often that quarterbacks need to have a short-term memory when it comes to mistakes. That's so true. He needs to move past this interception and put it out of his mind. The defense has a chance to come up big. If they can force a punt after that turnover, it'll give the entire team a boost of confidence. The QB tosses one out. Second down. He hurls one. The ball falls to the ground, incomplete. The kicker kicks it up, and it will fall short of the uprights. It needs to be go time for the offense. They need to stop messing around. Tighten up your chin strap and get ready to drive the ball down the field. That will move the chains. 
He hands it to number nine. Second down. He drops back to pass. And he goes down. Sacked back at the 30. Third and short, Dave. With how things are going for the offense today, I'd expect a short run to try and pick up the first. He's stopped back at the 26. The away team takes their first time up. He hands it off. Fourth down. The offense was expecting heavy pass coverage over the top and wisely ran the ball to pick up a few yards. The kick is caught at the 10-yard line. The offense should focus on time of possession here. Keep the ball away from the other team. Drag this game out. The away team bringing pressure. Number 18 makes the reception. That'll bring up a fresh set of downs. Quarterback to pass. Brought down in the backfield for a sack by number 15. The away team uses their second timeout. That will bring up second down. Taken down, the away team calls their last timeout. That brings up third down. This is where we get to see who can execute. With third and long, there aren't many options for the offense, and the defense knows that. The punt's away. And the punt goes into the end zone for a touchback. The away team needs to execute on this drive if they want to start eating away at that lead they've let the other team build up on them. There's a flag on the field, and it's off. Let's see how the penalty affects things. The away team takes the penalty. That's a great cadence by the QB. He's been working on drawing these guys off sides, and it paid off there. Good enough for a first down. Number 10, dropping back. He shakes off the tackler. Missed tackle. Second down. He drops back to pass. Throws. Complete to number 33. That gets us to third down. Drops back into the pocket. Snagged out of the air. That'll be enough for the first down. That's pure focus out of the receiver there. He knows the defense is bearing down, but kept his eyes on the ball and protected it after the catch, too. He drops back to pass. He's hit hard, and he'll be sacked down at the 47-yard line. That will do it for the second quarter. The home team leading 10-0. Number 98 boots this one into the end zone. Number 12 takes the kickoff. Makes the return up to the 19. Let's take it down to Emma Adams on the sidelines. Emma, what have you heard? Thanks, Dave. I had a chance to discuss the first half with the coach for the home team. Missed opportunities in the passing game was the tone of the conversation. He felt like they had good chances, but were just unable to capitalize on the matchups. If they want to win this game, they'll need to take advantage of those moments. Back to you guys. Thanks for the insight, Emma. Second down. And he goes down. Sacked down at the 50-yard line. Third down. With only a short distance for the first down, I wouldn't be surprised if they line up and dive straight up the middle. That'll give them a fresh set of downs. Bullet passes are so hard, Dave. That's when I knew I was done with the game, when I only had one or two of those per game left in the tank. Martin takes the handoff. That brings up third down. He drops back to pass, throws it. The receiver can't bring it in. You can't blame the quarterback for taking a shot there. 
They weren't in a great situation on third down and needed to chuck it downfield to try and pick up the first. We've got an injured player down on the field. Carlson kicks it deep. The return man takes the kick. Makes the return up to the 17. The home team comes into this drive with a one possession lead. I'm looking for them to try and take a chunk of time off the clock and grab another score. Passes one to the back. That'll be enough for the first down. Quick first downs like that keep the defense guessing. That gets us to second down. And he's tackled up near the line by number 38. That brings us to the end of the third quarter. The home team out in front for now. 10-3. He tosses it to number 35. That'll bring up fourth down. That's a smart play call. You were in a bad position on third down. Take a few yards and live to fight another day. The return man takes the kick. This is a good position for offense to be in. It's a one-score game, and they've got a good opportunity to go down the field and get some points. That brings up second down. There's a flag on the field. And he's stopped by Grant. Well, we'll see if that holds up after the penalty. The away team will decline the penalty. Third down. Martin takes the handoff. That'll bring up fourth down. A conservative run call on third and long. You don't want to unnecessarily take any risks there and end up in a situation that's difficult to recover from. The quarterback dropping back. Uncorks this one past the first down. Second down. He drops back. Brought down in the backfield for a sack by number 35. Third down. Makes the handoff to number 35. The away team uses their first time out. And that's enough for a first down. Dropping back. Throws over to the... And it's caught for a touchdown. When close to the end zone like that, the quarterback has to be precise with his passes and has to make smart decisions. Nice, accurate throw there for six. Number 11 tosses one out across the goal line for the two-point conversion. Number 35 hit the hole like a rocket. He saw a gap and shot through it for the touchdown. The home team widens their lead. 18-3. The home team moves firmly into control of this matchup with their two-possession lead. The offense needs to get something going on this drive. The away team uses their second timeout. Second down. I remember throwing footballs through swinging tires as a kid. I'm willing to bet this QB did the same thing. That pass was dead on. Number 10 drops back. That will bring up second down. Steps into the pocket. He sends one. The receiver makes the catch. First down. Being able to convert first downs in the passing game makes your running game that much easier to execute. He fires a pass near the sideline. Touchdown! This receiver, such a good wingspan. He's got the ability to get that ball even when the ball isn't perfectly passed. The away team is unable to convert. The away team reclaims some lost ground. 18-9. The defense needs to get a quick score here to shut this comeback down. And it's fielded safely. The onside kick is unsuccessful. The offense needs to just play it safe here and focus on keeping the ball in their possession as long as possible. Number 35 on the carry. The away team takes their last time out. That brings up second down. The pass falls harmlessly to the ground. Watch for the defense to switch into a nickel or dime set here to take advantage of an extra defensive back or two. Watches a pass. 
The pass falls harmlessly to the ground. This is exactly why third and long is so hard to convert. It takes time for the receivers to get to the first down marker, and by then, the QB is under pressure and forced to make a difficult throw. The away team needs to execute on this drive if they want to start eating away at that lead they've let the other team build up on them. Throws the ball, and it's off. Uncorks this one. The ball falls to the ground. Incomplete. Mike, you know what time it is. We're all anxious to hear who you've got as the stud of the game. Who is it? For me, it's got to be number 11 for the home team. He could have easily came up short today, but he definitely lived up to the billing. 